a message in a bottle on the stormy seas. It's been 30 years since Bruno Bruni painted his last landscape. The Italian artist is still searching for variety, but he stayed true to his signature style all these years. You can understand almost everything I paint. There's no mystery. I can't paint an abstract picture. There have been so many movements and trends in the last 50 or 60 years. If I'd gone along with all of them, I'd have disappeared long ago. Bruni rose to international fame through his drawings and lithographs, which earned him multiple awards. Whether in painting or sculpture, his favorite motif is the female form. First, because it's the subject that offers the most variety. And second, I'm old, but I think I've still never understood a woman, but I keep trying. Bruni lives in a converted swimming pool surrounded by his art. The building is more than a century old and serves as his apartment, studio and gallery. Bruni even has a small art collection of his own featuring works by famous modern artists like Georges Cross or Salvador Dali. Bruni converted and restored the spacious location a decade ago. There are still many details relating to the building's former use. The swimming pool is still all there, but there's no water. This was for the soap if people wanted to shower back there. There are still a lot of odd little features. Hamburg has been home base for Bruni for the past 50 years. He studied here and later launched his career in the city. I came here because of a girl, of course. I was in England, where I met a girl from Hamburg, and then I came here. I realized that I had the opportunity to do whatever I wanted here. Bruni's big breakthrough came in the early 1970s. His lithographs and statues were very popular and several were mass produced. Some critics dismissed his art as commercial because of its mass appeal. But for Bruni, the problem is elitism in the art world. When things are reproduced, they're also inexpensive. Buying an original oil painting means spending a lot of money. Art should be for everyone, not just for these privileged show-offs who have money and think they're better than everyone else. Today, Bruni sells his works through his wife's gallery in Hanover. He's reputed to be one of Germany's top earning artists. He's also a boxing fan. He used to make meals for his friend, former champion Darius Michalczewski, before each match. Cooking is a hobby he's passionate about, and spaghetti is one of his favorite dishes. It's a talent just like painting. Cooking isn't easy. You have to love it. Bruni has also cooked for former German Chancellor Gerhard Schröder, who was a guest at his wedding. His cookbook features both his favorite recipes and stories from his own life. I was born there. My father was a railway crossing attendant. That's where I lived. He started painting as a young boy in Gradara, a town near Rimini on the Italian Adriatic coast. I'm happy whenever I can paint, because I learn something. In fact, when I'm painting, I really learn about what the old masters painted. And I probably need two or three hundred years to achieve what they've done. Art is his life. And even at the age of 75, Bruni has no plans to lay down his paintbrush. <laughs>